What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the 2020 DoorDash cheat codes that I've come up with. I've come up with 10 of the best tips that I possibly can, and I've got well over a thousand deliveries under my belt, so I got some pretty good experience and knowledge to help with you guys who are trying to make money doing DoorDash. Number one is you gotta schedule your shifts ahead of time. You're able to schedule your shifts one week ahead of time if you have good enough ratings, which I believe it's like 4.6 stars, 95% uh, uh, delivery rate, and I'm not sure what the rest of them are. But if you are able to schedule ahead of time, definitely do that. Set your alarm for 3 p.m. every single day, and if you don't schedule your shifts by 3.05, those shifts are gone. They literally disappear within minutes, and you're just clicking and refreshing as fast as you possibly can to get those shifts. Number two, calculate your miles per dollar that you're making. So if you have a $7 order and you're driving seven miles, you're making a dollar per order. Personally, that's my minimum that I'll take is a dollar per mile. I really don't mess with anything that's less than $6 per order. But again, like sometimes if it's a really quick uh, delivery and it's only a few miles, especially if it's like $2 per mile, I'll take it, especially because I'm driving a Ford Explorer most of the time. I will not be taking any like long deliveries. If I'm in my Tesla, I will take some longer deliveries if they're like enough miles, uh, enough dollars per mile. Number three, some stores, you gotta actually place your order as soon as you get there. If you can, make sure you call ahead and place it on the phone. Some places don't allow you to do that. However, I just act like I'm a normal customer making a regular order. I don't say I'm from DoorDash. Again, probably not the best thing to do, but you gotta save your as much time as you possibly can. So call ahead, make those orders quick and efficient. Number four, you gotta do multiple apps at one time. If you can do Postmates, Grubhub, or any of the other ones, Uber Eats, whatever, if you can do multiple things at one time, you're gonna make more per uh, per minute, you know? The more orders you can do in an hour, the more dollars you're gonna make per hour, basically. So try to do as many apps as you possibly can. Don't just settle for one, try to get hired by multiple, especially if you're gonna try to do this as like an actual job, which is kinda like what I do most of the time. I try to make at least $500 per week. I probably wouldn't be doing that if I was only doing one of these apps. Number five, dress to impress. Don't dress like me like you just got back from the gym, but typically I'm wearing something a little bit better than just like gym clothes. Try to wear like a button up or like a nice t-shirt, a jacket, because when you show up and you look like crap, your customer's probably not gonna give you that extra tip, but if you show up and you look like a nice, put together person, they're probably gonna give you a better tip than they would if you're wearing like gym clothes. Again, don't follow my lead. Number six, drive slowly. Don't drive super fast and waste your gas. Your dollars that you're gonna spend on gas are pretty high actually when you're doing DoorDash. I typically go through a quarter tank every single day and when you think of it this way if you're doing a seven dollar order most cars average from 21 to 30 miles per gallon so if you're spending a dollar on every single order you got to think about that that seven dollars is actually six and if you're driving fast sometimes it's actually more like five depends on how fast you're driving if you're always flooring it driving around to get as fast as you can really saving those extra minutes isn't worth that extra miles that you're gonna spend uh, on your gas tank and if you get a ticket, there goes all the money you made for that day, and if you're in like California or something, for the whole week. Number seven. All right, keep those ratings up, because if you smile and you do good and you're not super late on these orders, you can schedule ahead of time, and really, scheduling ahead of time and picking your dashes out a week before you're actually uh, doing them, that's the way to go, because you can actually get good shifts and like longer shifts. So keep those ratings up, and don't like fall behind. Otherwise, if you're a bad delivery driver, DoorDash will take you off or you just, you really can't make that much if you're trying to schedule the day of. Number eight, dash at the right times. Because if you're dashing at eight o'clock in the morning or you're dashing at midnight, people aren't typically doing that many orders because people aren't awake or people don't really need food delivered to them. Lunch time and dinner time are the best times to make money and it's literally you're gonna make double the amount of money. From like, I would say 11 to two for lunch time, and then from five until nine. That's when you're gonna make the most amount of money. Number nine, all right, pick the right restaurants. 
if you know a restaurant is slow, like Cheesecake Factory or like one of these other restaurants that's always late with their orders, don't go to those places. Like if you sit there and wait 15 minutes, that's a quarter of your hour that you could have been driving and making time. I usually sit outside of Chipotle because Chipotle is the fastest one for me at least. And typically people who order Chipotle tip a little bit better. I feel like it's like that perfect medium of restaurants that don't take a long time and are still like high enough of a class to tip you well. Again, that's just my opinion. Just don't go to order or don't go to stores that take a really long time. Fast foods can be sometimes actually pretty quickly if you just do uh, drive through. A lot of places don't let you to drive through, but just whatever, do it anyways. You don't have to get out of your car, it's kind of relaxing to just sit in the drive through, and sometimes those places are pretty quick. All right, and number 10, the final tip dash in the right areas. When there's an area that has a bunch of restaurants, especially restaurants that do DoorDash, you should probably just sit in those areas. If you do a delivery and you go for a really long time, especially if you're delivering outside of the area you're dashing, you have to drive all the way back to where you just came from to get another order. I would highly recommend not taking orders that take you out of the area you're dashing in. And if you can, just try to take the orders that go back towards another area that's popular. I usually try to stay on like the busy streets and those nice areas where you actually make good money. If you go way far away, you gotta consider that that five or seven miles you just drove, you gotta double that and go all the way back to get another order. So be careful on which orders you take and like how far or where they go. Area is very crucial. Thank you guys for watching. Again, like and subscribe if you guys haven't. Uh, I got a few more videos coming out for those DoorDashers and people trying to make more money on these delivery apps. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.